At Copper Mountain's Alpine parking lot, Jeff Grasser, I'm Copper's Senior Resort Operations and Sustainability Manager, says even a snowy place like this ski area, it's been a, a good snowy season, can be a great place for solar. We have these 18 arrays, each consisting of nine solar panels. Each panel generates 400 watts. And why Copper has this 50 kilowatt array that even in the winter powers their employee housing. And that helps offset the carbon footprint of our latest employee housing development. With panels at a steeper angle so the snow can run off, but even covered in snow still produce energy. Compared to its, you know, peak daytime sun, it's only about 20% but really get going when it's sunny, getting energy from the sun and from reflected light off the snow. We do get some reflective gain. And because some solar struggles in the heat, these panels actually perform better in the winter. When they get hot, their internal efficiency goes down. And one advantage of uh, this place here is that it's usually nice and cold even in the summertime. Which is why Copper's added solar in other places around the resort with these panels already paying for themselves. That return of investment has already been reached. And Jeff says shows that sun or snow, solar can be a bright idea. Look at the balance sheet of this project and say that it works. And along with these solar panels and others around the ski area, Copper is currently working on a larger scale solar project that would be off site, but then power a lot of the resort. Corey, the plan, like some other ski areas in Colorado, is to try to become 100% renewable. And that's something a lot of ski areas around Colorado are trying to do right now. They're well on their way, and it's great to see that it works in these winter months because that's so important for them. Matt, thank you. Let's get it to